Yeah, now let's make sure we didn't eat all cool food We got my favourite of all, Nicholas Diaz. How's it going, bud? Not bad, by the way. Yeah. How was Wingies, bud? How was Wingies? Did we all enjoy Fucking Wingies? Bad. <laughs> I, mm. I fucked myself up. <laughs> it went just the wings, right? We went for the wings. Yeah. Fucking, my stomach was intact as the next day. So I was out of the Thursday. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't really eat much because I was still full. Yeah. Came round Friday, <laughs> was back to normal. Fucking where we were again, we had the water turned on. Yeah. So me, and, me and Scott were drinking fucking water out the tap there just before I fucking left to come home. Yeah. Came home, thought right to payday. Let's have a fucking Chinese with the family. <laughs> Spent forty pounds on Chinese. By the time I played it up, I was looking at it going, ah, I don't feel well, I feel fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> I had four mouthfuls of Chinese, spurred my ring up, lay on the bed for an hour and a half, like, ah. Uh, came oh. downstairs, I thought to myself, I spent 40 quid on this Chinese, I ain't gonna fucking eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Made myself eat it, spent the rest of the night shitting. <laughs> just put it in the fridge now the next morning. Or did you poison yourself with dodgy water, did I? I yeah, think it was stagnant water bad. in the pipes. Scott was bad as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> I go on fri- Friday night, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. I sat on that toilet and just the gates of hell open. Like. My, uh, yeah. my daughter worked last Friday and she's the only one of the three of us that didn't drink from our tap. And she, she was, was all right. right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, snake, like. Love a bit of child labour, I don't know. Oh, but. But she, she was fucking good as well. I was about to say, she's better than me. Better than fucking me. Fucking was, but. <laughs> Honest to God, she got more work done than what Dan would have done in a day. <laughs> I have to well practice in the field garden here, don't you? So, oh fuck off, but she's as tall as me. <laughs> she fucking flat me. Like, like fuck with me all day. So, <laughs> most importantly, Nikki, you came at my throne, you bitch. What? You came from the wing eating champion, but yeah, you did. Oh, I came. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. You tried to. To be fair, though, I think I done well for my first fucking <laughs> my first goal. Commendable, but go. very commendable. We went to a smokehouse. Oh, oh, shit. We didn't invite Pete, did we? <laughs> Could have come anyway. It was in the bad boys, but it, it, was, in, was, it was in the group chat. You were invited. Fucking yeah. waiting on refunds for two suits I bought, so I'm still skinned. <laughs> Why are you waiting on refunds for suits? I bought. I had a wedding, so I bought three because it's online sizes. Two of them didn't fit, so I sent them back. Yeah. And they still haven't refunded me because they said, oh, they still have the DHL. Fucking oh, that's my hours. cunt then, I does. Skint, do you, Pete? Oh yeah. What do, you, what do you spend all your money on? I don't know. Just go. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> nah, okay, keep, okay. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it in, but this is your fucking intervention. Yeah. You need to oh, stop. I, I, I've calmed down a lot. Okay. You, you need to stop spending it on fucking limited edition anime figures. The body I pills. never stop spending it on our but fucking big I'm as big a fucking geek as you, Pete. Go for it, man. You're uh, both fucking, fucking right. disgusting. It's evil. Buying them and you know, checking the list to see if they put parts on them. So, Nikki, you said, how, how many wings did you eat, bud? Now, bear in mind, this is the drum, the wing, and the tip. So this is a big fucking Small wing. Small the big boys, like. It's a big wing. I mean, I need to do manage to push inside out. Well, you were saying 25. Yeah. It was 25. I think it was more. No, it was... I was one was dish. It was one dish behind it. Yeah. Way. And then yeah. I had one extra one. Off but you had two off spatch. And I had two off spatch, so... Ah, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's what it was. You accusing me of fucking stealing Valor with no, wings, man. I wasn't accusing you of stealing, fuck all. Big I, what I was thinking was, is you, I, in my mind, I thought that you thought that you were too ahead of me. No, I'm not. a wing stealer. Because I was trying to keep my pots, the, the pots that come in. Yeah. Count the pots. And... Um, but I think she took like one or two of mine away. Don't worry, I was counting for you, bud. I was oh, no, counting. I don't fucking think it, eh? But I think what I did to fuck myself up not to get the 30 yeah. was that last batch of wings I had. I went for the sweet sticky ones. Yeah, maple. It was fucking maple syrup. Ah, fuck. And it was, and it was fucking hanging. Oh, but whenever you get past the like 24 wing mark, they're all fucking hanging. <laughs> It's just salty as fuck. Yeah. I think I had like four pints of coke as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, gassy. Yeah. Dylan, Dylan hit the nail on the head. It's 
just a fucking text, Joe. When she gets past oh, so many, the point, text yeah. just turns to fucking, fucking mush. Slime, man. Mm-hmm. That's why I do a source change every 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 blade. But then, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I was sort of trying to get through all the flavors. Palate cleansers, like yeah. And then the, the only one I hadn't had by the time I got to my last one was that fucking maple, maple one. one. And they were hanging. It is. Yeah, sap- I'm, I'm, it not, is I'm not fast on maple. It is sweet. pure, pure suffering afterwards, isn't it? Oh my god! Being that full over. is the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> I came home, right? <laughs> yeah, we, had, we hardly spoke on the way home, but all we did was laugh. <laughs> all we did, we laughed, but we laughed hard. Like uh, uh, yeah. both of us are like holding out, uh, holding our stomachs, thinking, "Fuck, we're gonna spare now." And bro, he's <laughs> in the middle, just sleep in between. Oh, us, like, I love him. I came home and I was like, oh, "I'm going to bed now. This is gonna be a bad night's sleep." This is. <laughs> And then I got in my bedroom, took my trousers off, took my T-shirt off. My missus wow. put the torch on her phone and she went like, ah, Mason's in here. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. So I had to sleep in his, like, he's got a single bed, but it's called a small single. So yeah. It's just slightly smaller. <laughs> so I had to sit in and he's broke the base on it. So the mattress fucking, like, dips in at the bottom. You're getting so cucked like by your son. I don't know, it feels like I was sleeping on a fucking hill. <laughs> and I was full. And then I had like chronic heartburn, so I was like, <laughs> so, just thinking to myself, suicide's the easy way out right now. <laughs> I was I was lying there on my sofa and just like I stripped off to my pants and I'm just there breathing heavy, like pre-sweating. I was I was dewy like Sweat. I was dewy. Was... There's nothing there's nothing you can do to get comfy when you're oh. full, is it? I had our mates come in and they're like, you're right. I'm like, fuck off. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a shit father because I would just fucking kick him out of bed. I was waiting for the fucking diarrhea to kick in. I was like, look, as soon as I get diarrhea, I'll get some relief. Like, <laughs> as soon as I get the rear, it'll free up some space. <laughs> Didn't Did have like, diarrhea as such. I was shitting, but it was like a like constipation shit. Like, oh. into the time. Oh. I, had a hot, um, I had a hot squirt at 2 a.m. <laughs> and, I was, and I was in bed. I put in a group chat. I was like, I haven't been sick or anything yet, but I threw a three, three a.m. dash come in. Oh. And I think, oh, I think I had one of six. And I woke up at six and thought, fuck, I better go. Oh, and man. Then, yeah, it was not too bad today. But every time I did go, it was fucking buzzing. <laughs> it would linger throughout the house for ages after as well. Like. Yes. Yeah, that's because you were that's doing all it on the as well. It's because you were doing it on the stairs, but that's why it lingered. Flop <laughs> <laughs> down, man. You were my play just moving up your ass. Oh, like, but uh, I fucking so I got up at two a.m. Went down for a piss, and I was like, I could do with a little squirty. Yeah. Did a little squirty. That's I was, the thing. You went out. You were tired. on the fucking ground floor, was not it? Yeah. That's what, when I record this in the attic, and I need to piss, I have to go down two floors or piss in that seven up bottle over there. I'm drinking after. Is that the one from last week? I don't know, but... Has it still got piss in there? Might be, but... It looks empty to me. (laughs) Yeah, I went down. And remember, I didn't have any fucking toilet roll. Yeah. (laughs) And then I found that little toilet roll from the attic. Yeah. I was keeping it in my fucking pocket so my housemates couldn't use it. Yeah. They'd have to be on lockdown. I go down... And you'd be like, the old mid shit that had no toilets. Oh, but I went downstairs. Squirty birdie. And then I was like, oh, no toilet roll. I was like, can I get away with just going back to bed? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, these cheeks ain't clean. <laughs> so I had to pour ice cream sandwich my cheeks together, go upstairs, get the toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream sandwich. Yes. Yeah, so just... You were one of the grimmest fucking people I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Why did you just... Two man's B day jumping the shower and been sucking ass. Oh, it's two AM, but I, I'm not fucking. I'll get my hair wet. Oh, that's fair. I'll get my hair wet. Not dry my hair. What, what, just waddle his way upstairs. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking you move it out fine. anyway. Why don't you just drag your ass across the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I, he wants but, his deposit back. But well, talking about deposits, I just didn't pay one this year. I forgot to pay one. The landlord me- messaged me and he was like. Ah, uh, turns out you didn't pay deposits. And because it takes ages with a deposit company, we just won't bother taking one. If there's any issues, we'll just take it from your housemates and then you can pay them back. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, the worst thing to say to you. I'll definitely do that. Not a problem. <laughs> Is there anything on? Are you Griff? No. Uh, no, nothing. All your housemates are quite chill, and eh? No one's like. I'm the worst. Yeah, I'd say I'm definitely the worst. So, yeah. but not in our way. But the most important thing, I maintained my crown as the wing king. Wing king, yeah. Thirty-one wings. wings. 
I ruined everyone's time by taking my shirt off, as is tradition. Yeah, you smashed me before we had Rock Hill, didn't you? Mm. Did you did you hear those guys on the table behind us complaining that I was shirtless? Uh, oh, fuck them. <laughs> like, um, what, I, what I did do with them guys was though, everything that I, we was doing or saying to that table, table lady, I'm fucking big <laughs> breasts. Table lady. <laughs> table lady. Um, they were doing then, like next. Oh, I love them. So like, if you, you asked them for a number, and then they had the bloke then you asking it for a number. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> We're trying to do boys. You ain't gonna win. I got I got actually <laughs> jealous, but I, I saw the love of my life waitress talking to them. There was no way it was no way that table game was gonna win anyway, because we had Brody on our table. We did have yeah. a child. Yeah. All we had to say was shag me or the child gets hurt. <laughs> That's my fucking son. <laughs> it probably shit him up when I grabbed him on the sofa though, didn't it? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but he got to talk about it. I'm getting pro I'm getting proper pedo vibes. <laughs> Ah, cheeky cunt! This guy yes. grabbed me and dragged me on the sofa, and I got proper peed over. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> kept I said he's not that type. He's not that type of uncle. We won't be sleeping over. <laughs> yeah, he kept talking about it on the way home. They can't even fucking push me on him. <laughs> and I was like, ah, he's only talking, man. You want to do it, Dale? And Scott was going, <laughs> well, what was he saying? <laughs> calling him something, Dylan. And bad Dylan isn't real. Bad Dylan can't do it. Or something like that. <laughs> Pedo Dylan, maybe. Pedo Dylan can't do it. Pedo, Pedo Dylan, Dylan isn't real. real. And I showed him our photo of him in the. Remember the one you put in the group chat? And he said, Why didn't anybody tell me I looked like this? Oh, but. <laughs> I showed him how he was a guy. If you still, still look like that, he would definitely be a pedo. Like. <laughs> it is a bad picture. And, then, yeah. and that's after I started losing weight. Do you know when I showed him, oh. I thought, oh, do you know the first thing I come to his mind? Oh. He looked like a guy, but ah, fuck me, he's comic book guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, I laugh at you. He's a, <laughs> he's a funny kid, man. He's a funny kid. He's so, a big but, idiot, but... If he's not a comedian when he's all around, fucking... It's going to be a waste. Just, yeah. Uh... <laughs> he was saying some stuff and it was actually pissing me off. I'm like, what can I do about this? <laughs> so I... he's he's been like it all weekend. He's been with his mother this weekend now because yeah. I swapped over. I've got my old house with me and he's got done with his mother. And every single day he phones me. I pick a phone up. What are you doing? I say, I need just to say to that, I need to go, yeah, all right, uh, yeah. By the way, you're fucking bald and just hang a phone up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from my own. He's basically you. Oh, it's worse than me, but. Oh, yeah. He's worse than me already. Sometimes, I, I, do you know when he places and he's like being a me here? Sometimes you've got to like tell him, fucking reel it in a minute. You know? <laughs> There's fucking people about like. Yeah. For a 10 year old, but he is one of the most racist. Oh. I know. <laughs> and he's he dark. I'm saying the words, he's dark, dark. Like, who's he like, like, that off? I know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. But, uh, <laughs> he's cracking like fucking cancer jokes and fucking people oh, jokes and stuff beautiful. like that. All the time, but all the time. Uh, but yeah, this my old ass has got in trouble with racial slurs in school. Is it? <laughs> what do you say? Oh, but how old is he? How old is he? Aldo? Twelve. He's nearly thirteen. Oh Christ, Nikki, about the wings. You said that I was very gracious in victory, it which was. was quite nice. It was. Well, I'm taking this opportunity to say you were a tiny, tummy little. F- <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't finish your fucking dinner. Don't fight with a big dog, you little fucking pussy, little small bellied little girl boy. I only got in sixteen, you. but I don't care. I am. You got wrecked. You you didn't come at me the way Nicky did. I was I was worried for a while. I mean, the way Nicky did, I didn't come at you at all. I invited everyone out for a nice chicken dinner, <laughs> and then a chicken dinner. Oh, yeah, a succulent Chinese meal. Meal. This is democracy manifest, and you were like, "I'm going for the record." And then you sit there opposite me, fucking eyeballing me the entire time, and I I was worried. I was worried. Nicky did not know his judo well. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mm, yeah. But then, yeah, I was worried about it because you had pace on me. And then I saw your face change on chicken number 22. And I was like, ah, yes, the meat wall has <laughs> it has hit. So, yeah, we'll try it again after some training. Is it Padawan? There's always next time. There's always next time. We'll definitely do it again. Yeah. You'll <laughs> yeah, give it next a cut. T- next I'll time, next time we want to eat a food. fucking breakfast roll in the morning before we go down there. Yeah. yeah. Um, or next, four pints of coke. <laughs> 
next time I reckon we do um, Viva Brazil again absolutely I am yeah. fucking down for that I've never been there I'm I'm for forever that. well you should actually come to one of our fucking days out Pete you yeah Pete <laughs> yeah Pete I will if I'm invited it was it. Invited, but it was in, in the, the group, group chat <laughs> It's oh, in the group chat. Right, right. Boy does two podcasts and think he's in fucking charge, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Instead of streaming right, the house and spending all your money on fucking anime porn, perhaps you should fucking <laughs> come out there. Like... Don't tell me that in my life, not my dad. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your, time will tell. What's your mother look like, Pete? I imagine it just looks like you in a dress. Pretty much. Is it? She fit? I was, how am I going to comment on that? I don't know, you might want to fuck your mother. <laughs> Me and Nikki were on about fucking calling girls mama the other day. That was nice. Oh, yeah, know, last last time you got one of them at yeah. the moment, don't know. Oh, but yeah, she come. Well, she's kind of asserted dominance over. The, she's <laughs> she's basically she's play, playing. I'm I'm your missus moves now. Mm-hmm. It's fucking. Uh, she's coming over and washing your clothes and cooking dinner, man. She. This is a dangerous game. Like, cleaning up his spoon after he spoons on the kitchen floor. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I found that, that so of, funny. That was one of the funniest fucking videos I've watched in a fucking me, long time. I was fucking crying watching that. <laughs> I watched it about four times. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were lovely. I don't know. Just <laughs> <laughs> when everybody was speaking to her normally, you couldn't see you. Yeah. Obviously, you see you. And then every time he was trying to make yourself sick, your head would just get like thrown in the shot. <laughs> it was like you were poking out of a turtle shell, like looking, <laughs> and then go back in. Oh, uh, but do you know why? The, why I was half hour late, fucking doing podcast today. I don't know. Just dread to think. I had a dinner that is like a normal sized dinner for me, but I fell asleep afterwards. <laughs> That's a proper old man thing to do. Yeah. Like, oh, but it was. I've had such a good day today. Good. That's good. So I've, um, this time last week, you wasn't in a good place, was it? No. Nah. No. Yeah. I had a little fucking manic episode, which was fun. Have you watched it back? No. Is it bad? Watch it back, but it's dark. <laughs> sure. <laughs> how do you know? How do you know how dark it is, Scott? Nicky was telling me. Oh. <laughs> That's when you know it's dark. Oh, but is it going to be... I wasn't kind of... dark. It was just fucking... I was concerned, Phil. It wasn't dark. It was just this. <laughs> <laughs> just my silhouette. I'm struggling, like I do every week when I log in. My fucking headphones, like, don't sort of, like, register straight away, so I've got to log uh, in and then log on and log back in. Mm. I'm doing every weekend before uh, coming on and I'm going, oh, my headphones not working. Because I can't do it until I've had to log in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like sat there trying to do my audio, and all I could see was this. <laughs> and I thought that the fucking screen was frozen because my audio wasn't working. I was going, Dell, Dell, Dell. And he was just like, ah. <laughs> I, was like, I, I like, my audio was working. I don't think my audio was working. So I logged up, came back in. And he was still. <laughs> I can't do it. Dell, he went, my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Can't oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, but I got so drunk so fast. It was stupid as fuck. Yeah. I went to Phil and I was like, oh, speaking to my wife there, Amy. Love it a bit. And I was like, I feel a manic episode coming on. She's like, I will buy you a tequila. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah. And then I got bad drunk. I was like, I got a podcast to do. And you know that fast drunk walk you do? <laughs> I was pure stomping home. And I decided to just keep buying cans of Diet Monster, thinking it would sober me up. Oh, no. Yeah, so... <laughs> it's no wonder you went fucking manic, you daft. Well, no, no, no. That's a whole of experience no, I was. No, the manic oh, episode no. started before the monster. So to deal with the yeah, manic episode... it never episode... fucking helps, does it? Oh, it no, never there, helps, like... definitely not. Take a heart attack, let me drink an energy drink. <laughs> See if he goes, like... Nick, uh, me in the boys, I feel around. fucking hanging. What am I going to do? I don't know, two cans of Monster, maybe? <laughs> I wrote down some notes, like, from when I was manic. Um, one that I like says, I'm a manic depressive autist. I am the most dangerous creature on earth. It's like you squatting in the fucking doorway of that tent saying, they ain't done more, but like, ah, they fucking oh, talking about me. They're talking about me. <laughs> they fucking talking about me. Shut up, then I'm going to sleep. Oh, but I was poor Gollum, but poor Gollum. <laughs> Next morning, he's just half outside of his tent, just his legs poking from <laughs> Yeah. Sunburn from the boot up, like <laughs> I was one of the fucking fondest memories I've ever got with Dylan. I was just fucking waking up out one morning in my first download. 
and all I can see is a pair of big fucking dog mountain boots, a bit of th- uh, a bit of calf, and a bit of kilt. <laughs> Tell you what, right? <laughs> right? Left him and then see them go six hours later in the arena with the most fucking painful looking six inches of fucking sunburn I've ever seen. Man. <laughs> it's like I see your legs hanging out the tent and it started raining. I think that's what woke him up. It was like, oh, raining. It was like, like you're burning skin. Oh. Oh. I'm fucking out there, boys. I'm oh. <laughs> sitting there it, with that poncho thing on, just like this. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so strong. <laughs> I had yeah. Me fucking, I burned. I had a vest and shorts on. I think I had fucking sunstroke. Went into the arena and that's all I had on was a vest and shorts. But then it started pissing down with rain and the rain mm-hmm. felt so big, <laughs> so cold on my skin that I couldn't speak and it was taking my breath away. <laughs> and I was trying to buy a hoodie and a poncho. And I just had to get the money out of my wallet and just stand there like I'd ready because I couldn't even speak. I just pointed at what I wanted and gave the woman my thing. So I was trying to speak to Scott and I just kind of went, <laughs> like the air that I needed to speak, I just didn't have there physically to do it. Out. We Fuck always it was horrible. We get ourselves in some states. <laughs> <we? laughs> I had like, I had like, I had uh, none like burn so bad to get water blisters. Mm. Went on holidays, jumped in the pool all day, no sun cream. It's worse I'm out, because I'm it's back. fucking like double back yeah. off the water, like. And my back was covered in them and it went to like the size of my fist. And, it, and I was in the caravan then, so I wrote in the caravan, turn, hit my shoulder on oh, my back and burst them on the fucking cabinets, whatever. Mm. And underneath them were little ones then. Let's do a shot of that then. <laughs> oh, but then the water in the blisters just smelled like B.O. So just in a oh. hovel for a week yeah. in the caravan. Like an actual... Two, with like a, a, with a, two films to watch. Like a fucking leper, but... Only two VHSs to watch. Like what films do you have? <laughs> My little vampire is it? My little vampire with and um, fucking spirit styling the same run fucking animated thing with the fucking horses. <laughs> it's horse. Don't even talk. Yeah. Just make all the noises. Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Got a boy soundtrack or Brian Adams when I was on Alex. That's right. Uh, My boy watched. That's right. I like bad Brian Adams. You are. The fucking worst sunburn I've ever had though to date is. On the tops of my fucking feet. Oh, oh but I went to Spain. It was our first holiday abroad. Hmm. We went to Tosa de Mar in Spain, and I I can't wear flip flops. So the ones are fucking go between your toes. Oh, it feels or, it feels horrible between your toes, doesn't it? It feels well, fucking. It was the first time I'd ever bought and worn flip flops, right? Because I thought I'm going holidays. I don't want fucking sweaty feet. Yeah, it's going to be better. We're close to the beach. I'm close to the pool. Fucking slipping trainers on and off, blah, blah, blah. So I bought these fucking flip-flops. First day I was out there, wore these flip-flops. Fucking argued with my flip-flops, I don't know how many times, because I kept falling off my feet or fucking tripping over them, and I hated them. But back to the room to get changed to go out in the night. Went to put fucking trainer socks on to put shoes on to go back out. And I was like, fucking hell, why are my feet so bad? I looked down and they were purple. <laughs> it was the first night I was there, so it fucking ruined my whole holiday. Because <laughs> I just had chronic fucking sunburn. I didn't ruin my holiday, but it just ruined my fucking. Your mic cable is banging against the fucking tumble dryer you balance your phone on. I'm not on a tumble dryer, no. It's just. Fucking... You're on I, I got a family moving my tongue. It's, it's banging up. Well, no, it was just the cable was fucking bopping against something, but. <sighs> yeah, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, that was fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. But I know I had a friend who's ski done exactly the same thing. He burnt fucking his feet on all as well. <laughs> Driving around all day on a moped with fucking flip flops on. <laughs> with that, though, it's because you've got the breeze against your feet. Oh, so you can't feel it. You can't, yeah, you can't feel yourself fucking burning. He said, it's literally, as soon as I got back into the hotel and I was in an air conditioned room, he said, that's when I could feel my fucking feet burning. He said, and they were throbbing like, oh, that's fucked. I think he spent two days in bed because <laughs> he couldn't walk <laughs> Right, but I didn't like a fucking ginger cane in fact the fifth year I still catch and then I went first there, download right? made the mistake of not taking sun cream and it was 2012 and they had like the screens up everywhere and they put about don't forget you know wear yeah, sun cream and everyone was laughing at it Sunday come around then I was sleeping on the bank because I was hungover over there was no bands I wanted to watch in shorts feet out the side burnt all the inside of my calf Oh, very bad. You've got to have a crispy skin. It takes oh, it takes a fucking lot for me to burn. Nah, I, had that, I had that patch, right? It was a different tone of skin for about six months. Mm. But when I went to Bloodstock yesterday, yeah, sure. I got fucking sun on my thighs, didn't I? Oh, I yeah. sat down. And I swear to God that 
don't even know. I've noticed the tone of my skin go back to normal on the top of my thighs. Like. Just in time for blood mm-hmm. stocking too. Yeah, just in time to do it all again. Yeah, boy. 11 weeks, boys. Might even be 10 now, actually. Mm. Oh, but... So, oh, the most... I was listening to Lama God earlier, and my missus was like, what is this fucking awful racket? I was in the car, I was like, fucking head bangers. Like, uh, like, Friday headliners in Red Star. It's just like, fucking terrible. It's just ruining my, just ruining my day. I was like, you were oh, ruining my day, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, took, um, so, I took posh missus to go see Pale Face. How did that go down? Well, it's fucking pretty good. Me and her were supposed to hang out in the evening, and I just got into Pale Face. And then I saw an advert from Plain in Cardiff, and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, because they're like Swiss. So I was nice. like, like, I want to see M for a while. And I was like, when is it? And I was like, oh, shit, it's tonight. So I was like, okay. So I messaged her. I was like, look, you know that band I showed you? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, we're, we're going to see him tonight. And it's like, either we're going or I'll meet you after. She's like, oh, what do you want, what do you want me to do? You know when they're really polite in, at the start, you know, girls? Yeah. Before they show how crazy they are, and you can do, <laughs> you can do no wrong, and they're lovely all the time. They're like, "Oh, what do you yeah. want to do? Do you want to go see them? You know, I can go if you want." Yeah. Waiting for the day that goes away. Mm. Um, so we go see them. Pretty move on. Um, yeah, the guy doing front of house, Dan. He's the guy that I'm doing patch for at Glastonbury. So it was nice to talk to him. Um, yeah, went to see Pale Face. Went to the, had a chat with the singer. I was like, ah, oh, thanks for coming. He's like, ah, oh, thank you for coming. I was like, can we have a picture? He's like, yeah. So we have a little picture together. I'm like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> then, they, then they start playing. I was like, right, I'm going to go down the front. And then this cunt does like a cartwheel and starts spin kicking people. And I was like, right, I'm going a little bit further back. <laughs> and then towards it, uh, posh missus seemed to have a good time. She seemed to be enjoying herself. Did she listen to that type of music anyway? Just... No, nah, no. Nah. I'm not sure if she was just being polite, though. Far, far, I don't know. What she, she showed me what she listened to, listens to, and it's fucking crap. <laughs> it's like soft rock, but it's fucking pants. But yeah, I went back down the front. Once all the big boys got tired, I was like, right, now I'm going down the front, and I'm going to punch all you in the head. <laughs> and they started playing their fucking proper tracks, like my favorite tracks, like Orphan. And I was there fucking shouting along, doing a big boy. And he grabbed me by the back of the head and fucking stuck the mic in my face. And we were singing together. And I was like, oh, I'm so gay for metal. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Everyone in the crowd, look at me having my moment. We're best friends now. None of you are having this moment. This is my moment. We've got a special relationship now. I'm so gay for metal. I felt so good at the end of it. I was like, yeah, this is good. We um, went straight from the path before me, Scott, Bam, Neil, and uh, Boy used to work with. Yeah. And then it was in, where was I went? Fucking on City Road. Small fucking club. City Road? Oh, do you mean the club? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a fucking pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was in there. And, um, I drew this thing after straight from a path of fitness, come off a stage and he was like, went straight over to like by the merch thing. Yeah. Like chatting tra- to people and stuff. I thought, oh, I know, I know. He seems like a tiny guy. I was like, oh, can we have a photo? And he was like, yeah. Oh. So he took a photo of me. I thought, oh, I'll try and engage in a conversation. But, and he just had like, none of it. He was so fucking arrogant. And really? Was like, Fuck you, man. <laughs> what a cock. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's the second time I've seen him. It was the scene you play last time with, um, what are we watching this? With the open for architects? Yeah. And, uh, when I played in in the uni, I was like, oh, I've seen him in the Page Architects, and like, you know, being a fan ever since, I never heard of him before that. And he was just like, Yeah, cool. Uh. <laughs> I was like, oh, You're a cunt. That's right, I have like no sense. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, we wouldn't just do it. Anyway. It put, put me off. Like, and, uh, yeah, I posted it on Facebook when I went and watched uh, POD, Alien Ant Farm, and I skipped Uberstand because it's fucking Uberstand. Yeah. And uh, I met my bunker after, and I was just drinking with uh, Alien Ant Farm and POD. Like, yeah. I felt like and well, that was my one proper like rock star moment of being in the night. Just just everyone coming up to him and be like, oh, how do you know I'm in? I'm like, I don't. And they just mm-hmm. kept me around and they were like, that's such a we had such a laugh together, yeah. doing shots. We got the lead singer in the I'm so wrecked, he was walking around fucking bunker, didn't have a clue what was going on or where he was. I just yeah, um, drum about shit then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see um 
bad man is. Oh, oh I know. Oh, yeah, 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 I did see his yeah, kind of grabbed it. And um, my man's a big bad man fan. You've seen him. Then I got a little venue down in Slantley. And he said, like, bust that just literally gets off the stage and comes up and has a fucking drink with everyone for a couple of hours. And I was like, oh, that's cool, eh? Right? Fucking. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a fucking pint of Buster and just talk some shit. And my man's like, he's a, he's a sound guy. He's a genuine, like... That's nice. He's a tidy guy, like, so... I'm looking forward to it. I just hope I'm not that drunk and I make a bit of a cunt of myself as well. Ah, but... As I say, and I don't meet your heroes and it's, it's, it's nice when you do it. They are fucking down to earth, like... Wait a minute. Oh, fuck it. Oh, fucking hell. I'm gassy as fuck, but I'm just sat here farting. My tummy hurts. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love, I'd love to meet Bruce Dickinson, and oh, I missed the opportunity once. Oh, I in, what? Yeah, I was in Cardiff, and um, <clears throat> me and my missus were down there doing a bit of shopping, went for some food and stuff. I remember he was on the way home. I was on Facebook on my phone, and mm. fucking Josh Thomas, Josh Tetley. Yeah. He was having his fucking book signed in the bookstore in Cardiff. Oh, by in Bruce Dickinson. Yeah. 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 And I'd walk past and I didn't see no fucking posters and I thought I'd have gone and bought a book just to have it signed and I was like, oh, no, they don't yeah. advertise it. They put like a little thing about that big on the front window. I would have been, I'd have gone up to Bruce Dickinson and I was I'd, I'd probably never read his book because I'm dyslexic. Like, I just bought it to come yeah. to see you. <laughs> <laughs> then we might like it and I would have probably done that and he would probably be turned out to be a bit of a cunt and then I'd have been upset <laughs> I'd probably I'd have been more upset than what I would have because of fucking and drew from straight from Pat Scott's still in no he's got, he's gone food. gone to eat food isn't he no, 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 no. let's slag him off for a bit looks like he went Facebook mm. official with his messes on on the book today because yeah. that's important well, yeah I thought they already were though was it? Oh, I, I just got a notification for today. Ah! Yeah, it does. You got a notification for it. I did. Well, as well. I don't know. It, yeah, it just popped up saying that he's in a fucking relationship. Oh, yeah. Uh, for some reason, I think he does it randomly on the anniversary. Was, was, I, was, I, was, I, was I out the line fucking saying what I said to Dan at Chicken Wingies? Oh. That's fair, I reckon. No. If. Well, I, I'd, I'd want to know. If it was yeah. my fucking. Uh, if it was my missus, I've always thought that I've never met her. Um, never met her, never spoke to her, so I haven't got much to build up an opinion on her for. She, she may have just been in a stinking mood. I don't know. Like when we work with Dan, he'd always have a fucking grump on her face on or say his missus have said this or done this. And yeah. Or if we've been, if it's been a weekend and he come back and I think it was a weekend, oh shit, my missus have said this or we've fallen out of this. And Fuck it up. It was never like... You know, oh yeah, we had a really good time. It's just, it's always drama. Is it is it a bad thing to say that while they're seeing each other, or do you have to wait till they break up before you go? Oh, she's a bitch. But I just one of them things. Like when I was with my ex, my sister, and I broke up with her. Everyone told me how much of a cunt she was, mm. and then I was like, oh. I always knew it, but I wish mm. somebody had fucking pointed it out. It depends who so you know. you, you, You're gonna say to them like, look, this is what we think it is like. But if you were you want to stay with her, no one tell you to break up with her. You do what you want, like. Yeah, I mean, it's like with Scott now and his misses and his ex misses and stuff. Like, I just being honest with him, and if he comes to me with anything, if I don't think it's right, they'll tell him. If I don't think it's right, oh, you know, yeah, how someone's be in, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, that's a shout. I don't want to sugarcoat it. And why didn't it any of you be shit and sour? Like, so then why why didn't any of you guys tell me that when I was seeing? The snake lady, or when honestly, I was, when I was that disgustingly far, honestly, yeah, because I never knew what she was like. I never ah, really knew enough. her. I never knew her really. I knew who she was, but I never knew when she was. You yeah. know, we, we did. Covers did say a couple of things. I mean, yeah, but then I completely fucking spooked out. <laughs> but so I mean, never. I never knew what to say anything on that. Scott, just Scott just sat there in the dark now, because the light keeps yeah. turning on and off. <laughs> No, he's not flicking up on my screen. Uh, it's because he's not saying anything then. Um, fuck it up. Oh, I've really just noticed that. I can fucking flip this so I can see all four of you at the same time. No, but when, when it's shit like that, Dil, if it's coming from one of us, it's not going to be, if we, if we chose to say something to someone else, mm. it's not going to be off the cuff. Yeah. We thought about it and thought, right, I'm just going to tell him just because I want to be honest because I don't want to lie and don't want to bullshit that one of your mates. Like, 
Oh yeah. So, sometimes as well. You know where he's coming from. It's, it's a, just, just, from just, context, like just for reference, it was mid conversation and wingies, chicken wingies, yeah. wingies. But I just, I just, I just said to him, I was like, he misses a bitch, but yeah. But you see me, I started pissing myself laughing. Yeah. <laughs> like, because you had said it, Scott had said it. No. To me, I'd forgotten about it. And as soon as you said it, it sparked it back in my memory, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, fancy <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Yeah, she's fucking bitch, Timothy. Yeah, just rude as fuck and dis- just nasty, like. And it's I was like, either, is it? And I, I, was... think, I just, I just think to myself, if somebody can be like that in front of people, oh, but if what well, can they be like when it's just in private? Yeah, yeah. There's no way I'd let anyone speak to me like that in front of my friends, other than my friends, like. Yeah. Like some people think mediocrity is like no way you should be. Like if everything is fine, not brilliant, not great, twenty four seven. Everything's fine. That's like the ideal. I and mean, then bits should be great. Like yeah, it should get better, and then go back like a fucking you know a norm. Five, I mean, I know. Yeah, no, like five, like, like five like out of ten. Like a small, like, the, like a like, small dwarf. Like yeah, five out of ten should be like you know the the everyday like. And then it, why the you fuck know, are you giving relationship advice, Pete? You've been single as long, longer than me. Yeah, but not my my choice. <laughs> you know, when I was with my ex missus, I always used to think that this was normal. Yeah. The way we were. Oh. Uh, this is normal. This is everyone. This is what everyone's relationship is like. Yeah. And it's just something fucking snap my day. I was like, actually, I think you're fucking horrible. Yeah. Oh, this is normal. Mm. And then as soon as I left, everyone was like, she's fucking horrible, but what do I ever see her? She's a horrible cunt. Nobody likes her. And then everybody I know that I've ever met since. Huh. And I've said, oh, this is my, this is who my ex missus is. Yeah. You're all gonna go. What the fuck are you doing with that? She's fucking horrible. <laughs> can't can't like, we should make a pact it's now. Blinder. Yeah, can't struck, but yeah. well, there's blinders on you. And some yeah. people flip complete 180. You meet them before they're in a relationship and they go a completely different person. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Relationships yeah. change some people. Oh, that, that relationship changed me. Like, I literally pied everyone off. Yeah, moved there, moved to a different valley, pied everyone off, made new friends. That's how I met like yeah, Yen and Tanka and stuff like that. Who's through her? Yeah, like only bothered with who is she? And I don't know where. Um, the name is. I'm gonna Google it now on a Facebook her face. Google. It's quite funny, man. You should bring it up because the boy I know called Sean, not Tanka, different Sean, mm. was tagged in a Facebook post today from a girl who is my ex missus' best friend, and I've always known her to be lesbian. Okay. Saying, can't wait to meet this little fella, then fucking declaring that she was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, hang on a minute. Like, parties that we've been to... Which is still as well. I don't know what she fucking done, but... Um, like one of the men, most mental house parties I've ever been to was a house party with her lesbian friends. Yeah. Oh, but it was wild. It was like fighting in the streets. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I, I had alcohol poisoning coming from it. Like, fuck it out. Yeah, it goes on so fast, really. Oh, but it was fucking wild. And every old time, but I was just stood in the corner like that. Ah. Just watching the fucking uh-huh. watching all going on. There was fucking, there was one couple fighting in the street. There was fucking dogs fighting. Somebody had their hand in the fucking fish tank. Fucking, playing with the fucking tropical expensive fish. Ah, uh, no, fucking. <laughs> Dog fighting and all that. I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, and then the girl whose house it was, her girlfriend had her male friend over. And straight away I was like, ah, now nah, they fucking hit her. Yeah. Like I could just see it. And fucking somehow during this fucking part of the night, it came out that it was true. And they just, one of them just showed up, I was like, oh yeah, we're banging by the way. Like, it's so, so good yeah. when you nail them right on the head. It's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Things are on point today, like still to this day. I was fucking, I don't know, maybe like 12, 15 years ago. Our party was, and I was like, that's fucking still one of the wildest parties I've ever been to. Oh, we need another ghoul out soon, don't we? Yeah, I was locking each other in like a dog hen outside, <laughs> just fucking playing absolute balls. Like, oh. I wanted a ghoul out this Saturday, but nobody would fucking. I know, I was working, I'm sorry. <laughs> nobody go to play with me. I asked my missus, I was like, oh. Right, we've got no kids this weekend or tonight. Let's go get drunk. And she was like, no. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, no? <laughs> so I just don't want to be hungover tomorrow. 
And I was like, no, you just don't want to go drinking with me, do you? Oh, fucking hell. A little bit no, of insecurity, Nick. <laughs> well, no, I wasn't. I said it jokingly, but fucking turns out now she's going for bottom restaurant with her friends on Tuesday. Oh. This whole I don't like being hungover thing is fucking out the window now, isn't it? Well, slack. <laughs> <laughs> is that Dirty Martini? Oh, uh, no, no Dirty Martini. Um, don't want Turtle Bay. Oh, like so I went to one in uh, Dirty Martini and that is lethal. It's not, it's, it's not a case of they go in, uh, you know, wander around, give it a half hour before they ask for your next drink. Literally, as you've ordered one, mm. and, and you take one it, sip, yeah. and they're like, what do you want for your next one? Oh, I'm like, okay, class, that's, that's what I want. And they went every, time, every time they put, I was drinking one and finishing it, another one was in my hand ready. Mm. I went to an all-you-can-eat place like that in Florida. Mm. It was the most fucking, I never felt so special in all my life. Yeah? <laughs> Honestly, God. Ne- best in service, isn't it? Oh, it walks in, right? And it's, uh, remember, like, Oriental Buffet, where you just have, like, food from all over the world. You yeah. have different sections, you pass the section in Chinese. It was like, all right. So she goes in, the waitress comes over, and she puts a fucking stack of, say, like, 10 plates. Yeah. Down like that. Comes over, what you want to drink? She'll tell her what you want to drink. She goes off and gets it. And everything's bigger and better in America. Mm. So she comes back with Fucking what well, they measure in ounces it out there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, fluid ounces, yeah. Yeah, like a kilogram fucking <laughs> size cup, right? Of fucking like dark pepper. Yeah. She comes over when she sees your drink is half full. Mm. Do you want another one? Do you want to top up? Do you want something different? So if you say you want something different, they'll just take that cup from you and bring it straight away. Okay, well. Um your plates as well, as soon as they see that plate is empty, they just come and take that plate and put the, even though the pile is next to you, mm. they put it there. Fresh knife and fork, come back, it's a fucking fresh napkin. They've got to walk, otherwise they don't make money, do they? Well, no, the thing that fucking like, really blew me away here was, right, the steak counter. It was up to the steak counter now, and I say, I was only steak then. She tell them when you want your steak then, and they put a fucking slab, right, probably about 18 inches long, probably about fucking 10 inches wide. Twice, like, as, twice, fucking... twice as long as my car. That's wild. Twice, yeah. <laughs> Like the whole fucking thigh of a cow, like mm-hmm. slam on a grill, like cook it how you want it, eh? the whole fucking piece, and then go, How much do you want? <laughs> like, how big of a piece you steak do you want? And they're like, Ah, okay. all and of it. the whole thing, and they go, If you want it, eh? I was like, Ooh, I ain't gonna eat that. Eh? They just had six bits of fucking Chinese, like, <laughs> even with the cake, like, you go up to the dessert counter, the cakes are fucking like, fuck deep. <laughs> oh, I, I could do it like a fucking eating holiday. But and it's, honestly, God, it was just well in the biggest like that. Oh, no, it's got um, the steak counter, the wagyu beef. Where's that? Everything. Where? Where? Um, shit, I can't remember the name. Oh, Pete, man, you're a fucking liar. I know where it is. Though. You can come down. <laughs> We're an anti climax. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know somewhere comedy, that does that. The comedy right. club and spoons at the end. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's on in the middle. Of, yeah, it's in the middle of our street. So what do they do there? Everything Chinese, Japanese. Oh, it used to Indian. be a buffet place. There used to be a buffet place. That's I think it was just Chinese buffet before, though, wasn't it? That's the place where they yeah. found the fucking dogs in the freezer. Aye, but it was <laughs> it closed down and someone else reopened it. No, it's you know, the same company. Is it? Yeah, they yeah. just put it under a different name. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice, though. Oh, but well, apparently they found animals not for human consumption. Well, not for like Western, yeah. Western consumption. Yeah, but apparently it was just for the staff. I'd eat dog, I'd chow down on a fucking bow wow. Yeah. I don't know, see. <laughs> this year I've been doing TikTok. Uh, boy, I try it. I, I try wings. it, but I don't think I could eat the proper meal with, like, you know. Is it? Like, fucking... I'd have a little, like, cube of it, like, and try it. Is it video? I think I've seen it on TikTok of a boy eating what looks like wings, like the little chicken wings. Yeah. And he's like, mm, fucking plowing through. He's like, oh my God, these are amazing. And he's like, this is the best chicken I've ever had. And he looks at the chef and he goes, is this chicken? He's in like Thailand or the Philippines yeah. or something like that. And the bloke just leans over the counter and goes, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, oh. the cats have wings. I don't know. It, probably, it must have just been like fucking cat legs. Like, 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 a fucking like, chicken yeah. wing. Like. Fuck yeah. I don't know why I know this, but if you skin a cat and skin a rabbit, they look exactly the same. Jerkin. Yeah, apparently they used to do in butchers when um, depression and stuff. Well, when yeah. they were feeling sad, like. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> the Great Depression. Yeah. Not the fun. Yeah. <laughs> the big Back sad, in the 1800s like... is what they used to give you before antidepressants. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They used skin cats and, and rabbits. There was a butcher in San Francisco or something that um, started selling new man. He's a serial killer. And uh, he called the long pig and no one clicked on. Long pig. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, he butchered it in a way it'll just look like 
Big long pig. Like I've pulled a long pig in my time. An army cock. But yeah, it's not long. Uh, no, I I eat fucking. I try any man. Um, well, they had that safari burger in download, and they're like python, zebra, ostr- uh, the ostrich burger is always there. It was a place fucking years ago in Forest. I used to do. Um, I think if they call it an Australian mixed grill. Mm. And I had like bison and fucking kangaroo. bison, python, kangaroo. Um, Iceland were doing them for a bit, weren't they? The fucking I'm a celebrity boxes. Yeah, they did like, yeah, they done, uh, like uh, alligator uh, burgers and stuff. Yeah. But uh, ostrich meat is what is, is like stupidly good too. It's like triple the protein of um, chicken and it's like five times less fat. Yeah. Fucking stupidly lean. Really nice. They fucking yeah, just run ostrich. everywhere, see, don't they? I love ostrich, just stunning. Especially with Jack Daniels and Jack Daniels and The barbecue sauce. Ah, yeah, 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 Jack Daniels sauce. TGI is what? Sorry, I was fucking listening to a voice message on my phone. Being a dick, yeah, that's me, baby. Being a thirsty girl, boy, like. Okay. So what's your plans for the weekend, boys? Next weekend. I got the busiest fucking month of my life coming up. Well, found any way to live yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a no. Let's just say that I that was got a nervous laugh. I was. Yeah, I got rid of two bags of trash from my bedroom. So, like, just stuff I don't want to keep anymore, or three bags of rubbish. So that made me feel good. I got that nice big bag of clothes for you and Scott. Thank you very much. No problem. Um, I found a lot of cool stuff in my cupboard as well, actually, that I don't need anymore. I'll chuck it in for you. <laughs> I found a big Iron Maiden book that I put in there, and I know you won't read read it, but it's got some cool pictures. pictures. Like, it's, it's got some nice pictures. Um, no, I, I keep it. I, 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 no, I collect that. Eh? Yeah, man. Um, so I was just fucking filling my diary, actually. Um, Wednesday this week. Oh fuck! Oh, Wednesday. I'm going to work a festival from Wednesday till Monday. And then the following Wednesday, I've got download from Wednesday to Monday. I remember I was saying that. Yeah. And then in that week, that middle week, I'm home, but I've booked in eight hours of driving lessons and I just need to learn to drive or I'm (laughs) fucked. Because I got the test on the Friday. And then the following week after that, I'm going to Glastonbury Festival to work. (laughs) And in that entire time, I need to move house. (laughs) And I, I need to I need to move house. And I first of all I need to find a house to move to. So the one that you told me you had a slight potential of going through is falling through that. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. Uh-huh. But I'll do this, Ember. <laughs> yeah. You know, fucking I had a... you know that girl that wants did we talk about it on the podcast? The girl that wants my seed. Yeah. Yes. Cause I'm an idiot with absolutely no sense of like safety for myself. I, I hung out with her the other day. Oh, aye. Yeah. No, she's pregnant. Masochistic. <laughs> well, she was over. I was being tempted by demons, but I was being tempted by demons. Was it? Couldn't find a condom. And I was just Could like... Risk it for a biscuit, like. I was like, there's a good chance I can get away with this. If I pull out demons strong enough. Yeah, but I've, give, I've given up on pulling out. <laughs> it's just... Just going deep feels better. I just roll the dice every time now. Jesus Christ. Um, we, we and my missus have never used anything. <laughs> yeah, how many kids you've got? Two. Enough. Two. Two. But, like, as well, the last time we got together, we said that I'm thinking of... Uh, oh, yeah. Snap back. Getting the vase done, like... Oh, yeah, have you told her? You're getting your tubes tied? No. <laughs> I was going to it to bed, in bed. To bed. In bed tonight. Mason will just be lying there in the darkness, like... What's up? This is as ready. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. fucking Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think it's the fucking. I think it's for the best. Yeah. No, what do you think? <laughs> you can you can get them reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep keep some of your sperm in the freezer as well. Yeah, yeah. Like you yeah, were they, saying, they offer that with the the psycho- uh, psychological test. I think. Yeah. Yeah, they'll give you um like leaflets and stuff on where you can see you can do chances of you having it reversed if when you get it done and stuff like that. Uh, 
Yeah. I'll... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Just, have, oh. just have a chat about it and Mrs. see how she feels as well and go from there. It's not fucking bollocks. <laughs> Well, you don't yeah. want any more kids, you know. I, I don't see the point. That's what I mean. Like, I don't... Mm. See, the thing is, they'll put a mask on your face, and just as you're drifting off to sleep, counting down from a hundred, you'll just see the doctor pull down his mask, and it'll just be me. With, I do think you're not good for it. With the big pliers. Like, yeah. It's happening, but. Well, they probably won't. I'll tell them I won't go out anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty, they probably, well, yeah. I've yeah. never come, I've never. You've never been put out. You just want free nah. drugs, Nick. You just want free drugs. I've never, I've never been put on a at all. It's fucking wild, man. You'll have a vivid dream, and then when you come in round, it's like you're the most fucking stoned you've ever been in your life. <laughs> I haven't seen that film a week. Right, when they don't give them in yet. No, no, they, you give it to them, and it's like one in ten million or something chance of it happening. But oh, I've heard because, of thing. I've heard of people like waking up halfway through their operations and that. Yeah, you're still completely paralyzed before <clears> all the pain. Yeah. <laughs> Get fucked, like. But look, when we don't have a cesarean, they don't put one down. They got to keep it alive, like, alive, awake. awake. <laughs> <laughs> they, they keep like, it awake was... in brain surgery. Yeah, I they got to. Yeah, just to fucking see if they've hit the wrong foods. Like, <laughs> if you've asked me, yeah, if you've asked me questions, there, like, wait, what, what's this picture? It's like, oh, it's a sailboat. Yeah, yeah. Well, no one. Um, those silence of the lambs. They cut. He cuts a fucking boy's top of boy's head mm. off. That's feeding bit to his brain. Yeah. Is um. I used to work with a boy called Matthew and his girlfriend had a brain injury and his shoes on TV for it a couple of years ago because it was like a fucking it's not very often it happens in this country where they go do this type of fucking procedure mm-hmm. and um, that's what she had to have top of fucking skull took off and they poking and prodding along in a fucking brain and poking to her at the same time like mm. yeah, fuck that I'd be lying there spinning clean out there <laughs> you gotta you got do it sometimes after like um What's called it? The uh, head injuries because the pressure, the brain will press on your skull and they give you brain damage. Yeah, either takes parts of your skull up and they like where the bleed is and stuff like that. But, um, no, I don't know. No, with my missus, I had a cesarean when she had to bring her mason. Um, is she the fucking the like. no, 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 no. Did she, um, she had to have an emergency when we low one and she just didn't want to go through all the fucking distress that she had to go through. Trying to get birth yeah, through it last time, like, but um, well, any of us would know it, but yeah, so fucking they took her away, and then, like, so 20 minutes later, I said, like, she's ready to ready to go, like, and come in, and so she's lying on the bed now, and she's lying on her back, and she's got her arms out to the side, but her elbows bent up, like, pointing towards her, ears. <laughs> raising like, the roof, like, <laughs> yeah, like you're doing the raising the roof, but you're lying down, right? So, and there's a screen then, sort of, just below her tits. Yeah. Down. And I'm like, how do you feel? And you just, oh, they give her I something. Feel, I, she, I feel like a fucking butcher's counter, but... But she was like, oh, I feel all right. Like, she shows out of it, like... Yeah. Or, anyway, they just say, right, we're going to make a start now. I'm talking along to her. And I'm like, can you feel anything? She's no. so, like, I feel pressure. Like, people are poking Oh, fucking mm. hell. And she's so, so when they were cutting the rope, and she described it as like someone drawn on her belly with a pen. Oh, yeah. So you could feel the push. Like something's <laughs> happening, but there's, no, but there's no pain. So it's like, oh, it's fucking mad, isn't it? And I was like, where are you numb to it? And she said, oh, literally, from, from, from the way she was lighting, so because of the position her arms were in, from her triceps and her nipples down, mm. was numb. And she's like, it's, it's mad. She's like, I feel, like, literally feel the line across my body where it stops. Did she have the one oh, in the yeah, spine then? It's, yeah, it's a spinal yeah. tap thing in there. Like, what's it called? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> epidural. 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 Uh, spinal tap. Sorry, epidural. 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 Yeah, an epidural. So she's just fucking... Like, you can feel it if you but there's no pain. The, the, all the pain receptors are shut off. Sometimes it's just the epidural and gas in here. Like. That's a perfect time to get her with some anal, isn't it? Blow her back <laughs> doors out. <laughs> <laughs> like... She starts sort of like wriggling about around the bed as we do it. And she's like, oh, it's them pulling me. And she's like, I feel their hands inside my oh, stomach. Oh, like, oh. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh, what? And then, I said, um, I didn't need to know. Yeah, and then like the wriggling stops. So they must have like pulled him out still in the in the bag. Like, how does it feel in the bag? How does it feel knowing that those men got deeper into your missus than you ever will? Like, 
I've never really thought of it like that until that was like, uh, You can yeah, never. Thanks, thanks for giving me that complex. Like, no, no problem, but they hit spots you can't imagine. Uh, like the fucking kidneys and the fucking <laughs> liver and stuff. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. And then when they popped the bag in, and there she was like screaming because she forgot to put a mask on and it went in her eye. <laughs> <laughs> Eat ambient. You could do it. Like, cunt. yeah, like when they cut the bag open it was literally like someone had just dropped a bucket of water you just oh, like, like that <laughs> were you not tempted to peek over the screen like look over the forbidden wall I was and apparently they don't stop you yeah but obviously they can't and they didn't make a fucking operation they can't just like go hold on one minute yeah 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 but um, I wanted to because I, I'm not I'm only squeamish for things like that as if it's happening to me <laughs> I so don't like, give a fuck about it as long as I'm not getting hurt not <laughs> Yeah, no, it's like when I had to <laughs> when I had to have all the fucking nerves and I put back together in my son. Yeah. That they gave me the option of having it staying awake to have it. And they were like, you can go home like three hours earlier if you stay awake because we're going to wait to come round off the anesthetic. And I was like, fuck what? Because he'd sat there and said, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut your finger like in a zigzag, like a peel it open like a banana uh, to pop uh, everything uh, out. Uh, shit. And I was like, I sat at the chair. I was like, oh. <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? No, I was like, put me in the bed, man. Put me in the fucking sleep because what do you want to do? You're going to sleep in. I don't want to know. Like, I, I just, in my mind, I was like, I didn't want to see my son. Yeah, you never really want to see. Like, oh, we put a screen up and I was like, no. I watched all of mine now. Like, I love... What operations fucking... you had? Not operations, but I had like, um, I was fucking pulling fucking dried ferns when you like, uh, up on a mountain and you just chuck them on a fire. Uh. And it was like, um, what do we describe it? It was like like bamboo thickness. Uh. I pulled one, root didn't come out. All my hands slid up and it all went splintered. And it was like toothpicks like through all my fingers and my hand. So I had to go to Oslo and watch them slice all of them open and pull out all these <laughs> cards. And I was there and I had to watch them do it. Uh, I, I didn't have the option out. of fucking going like. But anyway, what sort of like put me off doing it was, well, remember when I was holding her hand? Yeah. And it was like sort of quite an overwhelming experience. I was just having a baby. Yeah. But there was a bloke I used to work with, his name was Scott. And he was saying that when they said, oh, you know, he's out, he walked around not thinking. He just walked down to see the baby out of like excitement and just seen his missus's belly just open and gaping. Aww. You can see everything inside. This Scott, this Scott is knocking on 30 stone. He said, just like, ah, out. Oh. In the middle of the operating theatre. And then I just thought to myself, like, I don't want to. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I want to. Yeah. No, I was like, fucking. I don't know. I think it was just a bit too over. I don't know. Like, like the fucking f- a freaky thing happened as well. Like, yeah. It's like they had a radio on, right? And when, when I went in, they said, "Oh, don't tell it, don't tell anybody we've got a radio because we have a license for it." <laughs> like hospitals and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's like PRS, performance rights. Yeah, like yeah. So I just didn't think anything of it, mm. and then um, fucking when he'd come out and he lifted him up to show him to us, my mother's yeah. favourite song come on the radio. Oh, and I was just like fucking. I just looked at him, I got the baby, and I just fucking like froze in the spot, and I was like. Nah, it's a bit fucking strange. I was like, yeah, fucking. Nah, I was like, yeah, a bit too much for me to think about going over like a fucking gaping wound, like inside out, like. Mm. Nah, I just go for the nineteen fifties, dad. Like being awake, didn't pass no cigars. Uh, mm. uh, fucking fifteen minutes, the whole thing, but from fucking, yeah, uh, from the first cut to the final stitch, fifteen minutes in and out. Kabel. It's like a fucking production line, but it's literally like a production line. How heavy was he? Um, I'm a man, fat shaming that baby, but he was. I want to say he was seven pound fourteen. I was about seven pound, I think, because they kept this. They kept him because there was an elective section. They keep they, they take him a week early to to minimize the risk of going into labour yeah. on your two week then. Mm. Um, but because he was expecting him to be a bit bigger, like when they were measuring him and stuff, like when we were for like the final scans, and they were saying, Oh, you know, he's going to be a big boy, he's going to be, you know, like eight, nine pounds. And then when he came out, he was small and skinny, so they were a little bit concerned and thought they might have had um, the newborn baby diabetes. Oh, yeah, 
So they had to keep him in there for a day, I think it was. They they thought they had that, but, but like, because I was ten, I was ten pound five. They were like, "Oh, uh, you might be like diabetic." Mm. But uh, I mean, it's just my father's house. Was, I was fucking tall. He said you will. He said you will have a long baby. Like, and it is only adult yeah. diabetes you got now. Yeah. Uh, I'm pre-diabetic. For <laughs> Are you? <laughs> no, Pete, man, you unit. All right, I reckon we should call that for this week. Yeah, just message Scott. I think we Scott's got... having a long meal. Isn't he? Oh, but well, he showed up for ten minutes. That's that's some. Oh, Liam. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't. Oh, fucking... Liam's missus is bad, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah. She got. Yeah, this... I don't know Scott what showed up before end, we started so recording, and it went. <laughs> she got FTS, but I had FTS earlier. What's that? Fucking full tummy syndrome. <laughs> you know when you get really grumpy when you got a full tummy. <laughs> Fat twat syndrome. You grown man yeah. same tummy like. Oh, uh, but it don't. It fucking turns me as well. Why? What's fu- what the fuck's uh, wrong with it? It fucking just someone not coming posh, from a blog like. That's a posh boy word. That is. It's not a posh boy word. It's a fucking child's word. When a fucking full grown balding oh. old man says it, it just sounds nonsense. Oh, suck my willy, suck my little winky. Yeah, mm. fucking rub my tummy. My <laughs> what did you guys call it when you were kids? Mine was Percy Penis. Ah, oh, don't tell. <laughs> uh, no, I got a funny story about Percy. <laughs> Come on. So <laughs> uh, then I. <laughs> <laughs> when I work with autistic kids. Uh, oh, I always lo- I always love the stories from the, the farm. <laughs> <laughs> there was a kid there and staff were raising concerns about um him not being able to like clean his really properly. He couldn't put his foreskin back because his like, foreskin were, was too tight. How old was this kid? Like 16. Okay. 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. Um, when he was in the bath, he was getting telling him how to do it. And he just he just couldn't do it physically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we, we fucked him a doctor's appointment, and his mother came with us, and his mother was fucking off her rocker. Yeah, like oh yeah, she was just like she was cool, like and she yeah. was off her rocker, but she was like sound with it. And she yeah, was just, yeah, yeah. She was like a fucking just one of them wild women. But I remember uh-huh. she threw a cheese sandwich at one of the girls. <laughs> <laughs> made him cheese sandwiches for his fucking pack lunch and she was a dinner lady there yeah. she come back over like through the door and she's like what the fuck is this and threw it <laughs> <laughs> giving my kid a fucking cheese sandwich what's wrong with him um, but yeah anyways my was with us and I just wanted back up just in case really when went you know just in case I got a bit fucking hairy me had to whisk him out of there yeah and this kid had really sort of he had good verbal communication and stuff and he spoke so let me put this Kid into like his personality was like Victor Meldrew, but trapped <laughs> in a teenage body. Yeah. body. So incredible... was... Victor Meldrew seems the type with a very tight foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you if you'd ask him a question, you go, hmm, oh, I don't know, like, fucking, um, he tried to speak proper, well, like, is, is the way he'd speak, like, like, proper yeah, 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 like, and fucking kid was mad for dinosaurs, he could pronounce and read every single fucking dinosaur name, and everything. anyway, <laughs> so, he's like, why are we going to the doctors, why are we going to the doctors, and he's like, have a look at you, he's like, have a look at what, and she's like, have a look at you, and she was like, looking down, and like, pointing yeah. at the crotch, <laughs> right? So we and Mark, this book Mark was just like looking at each other like, fucking hell, man, this is embarrassing. Like, I was blokes yeah. as well, like. Yeah. Um, and his mother was trying to, <laughs> she was struggling with like what to call it. Like, she didn't want to say like, oh, your dick. Yeah. Because he'd start walking around going, oh, my dick, my dick, like type of thing. <laughs> so, um, she's like, uh, she's like, my what, my what? And she's like, oh, your pussy pecker. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, ah, oh no 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 no! <laughs> I don't want the doctor to see my Percy <laughs> And he shoved it out in the fucking waiting room. <laughs> Leave my Percy Peck alone and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he goes into the doctor's office now, and the doctor's like. Right then, there's another thing. Need to have a look at your penis. He's like, ah, I don't want you to see my Percy Pecker. I don't want you to. See... And that's all he kept saying. But we had to take him out there, put him in the minibus, take him back home. That's all he said all night. They get fucking spun him out and wide him. Someone was going to come and have a look at his cock. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, leave my Percy Packer alone. I don't want to see my Percy Packer. I went and come to like his bath time routine. He was like closing doors. Like, no, no, what's coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Percy Packer. That's all we kept laughing about then. Me and Mark used to call each other Percy. Oh. Uh, it, it, it was a Percy Packer. It was Percy. Fucking class. But then that one again, you do it, that's like, yeah. oh, do you want a cup of tea, Percy? Yeah. Why is he off my top cup? Like, mm. No, no. But, and he, if he didn't like what was being said or anything, he put his fingers in his ears as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. My Percy. <laughs> oh, love my Percy alone. Yeah. My Percy alone. Um, oh, boys. I think that's it for another week. Oops. <laughs> I, I accidentally pressed pause instead of stop. Well, thanks for listening. If anyone out there is listening, remember, pull back the foreskin on your Percy Packer. Wash your wash it before it gets too tight. Wash your knob. We're talking to you, Peter. There's more since all the way, but... Wash your knob and don't get diabetes. <laughs> and that's it for us. Thank you very much.